Here's a modification I made to a few of my newer panels several years ago. Those panels have since broken from all the airline travel. I removed the speed rings and I'm just now getting around to reinstalling them on a, a newer, new, newer fixtures. So these are all speed rings from Quartalogen, Fresnel's, uh, my old Mole Richardson lights. Uh, yeah, the Shamirs are still good, as are the speed rings. I just had to cut out a notch so that the newer LED lollipop can slide on there. And I disassembled the lights so I wouldn't drill a hole or get shavings on the circuit boards. I thought I could get this smaller speed ring installed without moving the dimmer board, but there wasn't enough room. So now I'm like, I already tapped holes, so I'll just notch off a corner of the speed ring so that the lollipop will slide on and lock. And then discovered <laughs> I cut off one of the holes for one of the Shamira poles. So the four poles in the four corners was down to three. So that's now trash. Moving on to a bigger speed ring. I gotta move over the control board to the light, tap four new holes. And none of this is difficult. If you've never drilled and tapped holes, you just need uh, the proper tap and drill bit size for that tap. The drill bit's a little bit smaller than the, the tap itself. But uh, just power drill and you can get the stuff on Amazon. Or here in the US, Harbor Freight Tools is a retail store that sells inexpensive, basically disposable tools, which is where my stuff came from. Now this is my Shamira from my old Joker 800. The lights are gone, but I still have the bags, grids, and various levels of diffuser. I was thinking about using this for this upcoming shoot where I gotta be fairly small, but I do want something a little bit softer than just the LED panel. And so I added a fourth panel to my tool chest. I just had to purge a bunch of little accessories and cables to make room in the drawer. Now on my tool chest, my top drawer is my monitors, headphones, image converters, and a general catch-all for short little cables and adapters. That's probably my second most cluttered drawer. And then the next catch-all is the bottom drawer, which is stingers, grip hardware. So moving on to prepping for my next shoot at the convention center, we're gonna be doing interviews in a booth. It's a medical conference for telemedicine. So uh, it's a bit of a hike from where I can park my truck to the show floor. So I wanna roll in with one cart and one trip and not have to backtrack for anything I forgot. So I'm laying everything out here on the driveway and moving from Pelican cases in the tool chest to small, soft tool bags. And I'm gonna put all of this on the rock and roller. So I'm just kind of doing the idiot check here from the sandbag up to the stand to the light and battery, audio kit, camera items. And uh, I'm gonna pre-build the cart and let that ride on the top shelf rear door getting the camera prepped, formatted, cards loaded to record specs, and I'm not gonna use the case on the day, I'll just clip it onto my touch and go on the rock and roller. And then I got thinking about it and thought, you know what, it wasn't part of the order for the job, but I'd like to shoot some B-roll on the FX3 versus dragging around the FX9, and just to familiarize myself a bit more with the FX3. Watch an example link of the project we're shooting today from a previous conference and uh, now I'm thinking I'm gonna add an on-camera light to the kit because the interviews were a little more spontaneous just had a nice sit-down breakfast I sat in there for an hour and I still have 30 minutes to burn before call time I've been working on the road so much the last two and a half years I'm just not used to the local work this location's 20 minutes from my house and it's on a Sunday so no traffic. Uh, yeah, gave myself way too much time. Truck is valet parked for the day. My carts loaded up. Fairly lightweight today. Brought a couple rope ratchets just in case something falls off the bottom shelf. I can strap things down, but I think I'm going to be okay. Low complexity day. One camera, one light, one lavalier ended up going just direct with the newer panel. No Shamira. Interviews ran about five minutes each and we were on to the next interview at 10 minute intervals. Nine hours of that with a one hour break in the middle and shot some B-roll cutaways on the FX3. Donovan, the on-site editor, we had a few specific interviews that were a same day edit and publish. And after we rough cut the first one, we made the determination that it would be good to get an intro shot of each person from the second angle kind of a behind the scenes look so i had my assistant eric cover those 
for each interview and then at that point we decided you know what these are five minute interviews let's just roll that fx3 for the duration now that wasn't in the scope of the client or the original budget and uh isn't an add-on for me but again I, I wanted to build some uh time with this fx3 and eric's eager to shoot a bit more too so he was he was game to take on that additional responsibility 12.30, this is my first break to <laughs> run to the restroom. No signage in this facility to find the restrooms. This first one, I had to walk halfway across the building. Most frequent question on my vlog posts, what model newer LED lights do you use? Well, here it is. I believe these are discontinued, but JY LED 1000s there are new variations of this similar footprint and shape on amazon there's a bi color as well as a rgb so initially i was thinking i would use my electrosonics dual wideband transmitter with the sankin cause 11d lavalier mic it sounds really really good but I had a couple of concerns. I didn't know how many other crews were gonna be in the convention center. I didn't know if there'd be presenters with radio mics in booths. So just from a risk of RF on block 21, 22, 23. 26 interviews, each five minutes, man on the street style with different backgrounds. So lots of risk of the electro transmitter getting dropped or the Sankin mic the lavalier being damaged. So for those reasons, I decided to use my Rode Wireless Go sounded great, and because it's over Wi-Fi with a short throw, didn't have a single transmission issue. Doesn't sound as good, but for the context and scope of the job, I think it was the right decision. The little rock and roller R2 cart worked out well for this job. Now that I have the tripod hanger on there, the cart is much more functional. My one issue with it is, well, two issues. The handle's too low, so you're hunched over when you're pushing. So I keep a hand on the tripod as it's a little bit more comfortable. And second, the wheelbase is so short on the cart that it's really difficult to keep it tracking in a straight line. Each time I look up to navigate or read a sign, I start veering left or right with the thing. So based on that experience and no longer owning my Magliner Senior, so I think I'm gonna pick up a large size rock and roller that's got soft, smart wheels to supplement this little R2. Following day, had the day off some weight training this morning with my personal trainer and let this be a lesson to y'all I was looking at my calendar and I'm not scheduled I have a hold this Friday it's Tuesday today so when I got home last night it was like nine o'clock in the evening so I didn't pull my batteries to charge them so I'm like I got the day off I got several days off I'll take care of it in the morning so I did I got things taken care of this morning before I went to the gym I got my batteries all plugged in and charging this is my staging pile of junk. I gotta organize, get some stuff over to storage. Uh, but anyway, the truck was mostly reset and I actually waxed the van today. Hand wax, did the whole thing, took about an hour and a half. So at any rate, just, I just got a phone call to go cover some news down in Brownsville. Um, correspondent gets in at 7 p.m. tonight. I don't, I might get there a little later. I don't even know what time it is right now. I think it's about two or three. Yeah, it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 3, 3.30. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, best case, I'm going to get in about 8.30. So, to get back into live TV mode, I just put in my 17 to 120 servo zoom. I got my easy up for weather. I removed one of the FX9s. Just leaving it here at the house because I don't need it. Although, I am going to bring my FX3 and gimbal. Play around with that a little bit. Uh, and then, I'll either use... I won't use the Gemini's, either the Aperture 300s for live shots during the day, and if it's morning or evening, I'm just going to use my newer panels, usual stands and stuff. I always keep a jacket, a raincoat, high-vis vest in the truck. Got three tripods, even though I only need one. I took out the ramp because the tool chest isn't going to come out, but uh, rock and rollers here, I won't use it. But I guess if we ha now, even if we have an, uh, like a sit-down interview with somebody that I'm going to light. I'll hand carry everything in. So I am going to put the mattress back in the truck just because these news things never know how the hours are going to be. And it's still comfortable weather here in Texas, so I can nap during the day in the truck. 